Hey guys, most of you probably found my channel through my Archonix install videos, though truth be told, I use this MacBook Pro day in, day out. I love this machine. It's, um, it's silent, it's powerful, the screen is big, I like the keyboard. I've got used to the trackpad, used to not live, uh, living without a, a ThinkPad nipple. And yeah, I am, um, you know, nostalgic for the ThinkPad days. I, I do love the suckless desktop, um, though I've just, just got used to this machine, really. I just, I mean, the, the battery life is amazing on this compared to the ThinkPad. So yeah, like, I, the Linux desktop is pretty much dead for me. Yeah, before you leave, um, I still use Arch Linux, but let me show you how I do it. I do it by SSHing to the machine. And to save energy costs, I have it on, um, on like a, a BIOS function so that when power, I, I toggle basically my desk power so I keep I keep my ThinkPad over my desk right now, and when I when I turn it on, you'll see that like the router that the power is connected to, um, and the laptop will 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 come out of suspend, and then it will become available. And then here I have VS Code running. And I simply connect to it, connect to host like that. This is opening remote. It does take a few seconds. And there I am on my, my ArchNix machine. Uh, how do I prove that to you? Cat ETC OS release perhaps. And then in here I have a great so that I can use dev containers so that, uh, and I pr much prefer to use Docker on my, on my, on my um, Archonix machine. And of course it's wired up and it's nice and fast and uh, on a gigabit connection. So I, I really think I found the sweet spot using the macOS desktop. Um, the window management is crazy. I'm always like, you know, flicking up here and, uh, command tabbing to get to where I want to get to. But I've got used to it. And and I must say, if you don't, haven't got, um, I, I do highly recommend Raycast. It's like a D menu for Mac OS to get around. Now, I don't leave that machine running all the time because it, it, I can tell you it, it is sucking down. I can tell you, or I can tell you. I can tell you that it's probably sucking down about 25 watts. So how do I, keep it efficient so that when I'm not using my Archonix machine, it doesn't cost me money. I simply have a script on my Archonix machine that powers down when it loses, I mean, let me phrase, I have a script on my Archonix machine that when it loses AC power, it suspends. So I think I don't lose my state here. It's all there, I can get back to it and it's, it's more reliable than Wake on LAN. So that's currently my setup. Let me just show you what it looks like when I turn off power. You can see power shuts down, machine automatically suspends. Oh, I've lost access here. I'll link uh, to a gist of um, the uh, AC power script. It, it uses ACPID to trigger a uh, system CTL suspend. That's that's my setup. I don't use Arch Linux. Um, I don't use Linux desktop rather. But I do use it all the time with um, over SSH essentially. And the VS Code uh, experience with SSH is, is incredible with dev containers and everything like that. Incredible. So that's the way I'm living this lie right now. Do comment below if how badly I fell off and uh, why I should stop using Macs. I do feel a bit bad that um, I, I did hear that the, the latest version of um, Asahi Fedora is a lot improved on the battery, but I'm, I just don't see it really competing with um, 
the Mac OS experience really. It's just so, so polished on the front end. You know, air, I mean, AirDrop and, come on guys, you gotta forgive me. But I'm being honest with you. <laughs> do like the video, do tell me I suck below, and uh, maybe how I should, how I could possibly improve. Cheers.